Everybody, today we're gonna talk about law of vibration. It might sound, sound alien, but everything indeed carries vibrational energy, self consciousness, also energy, and uh, vibration. Music is vibration and energy. People's opinion, therefore, is vibration and energy. And law of vibration exists. Fair use portion of this novel contains third party content, constitute fair of use under federal copyright laws. United States under Section 17 U.S.C. 107 works are meant to be educational scholar nature, which is protected by fair use. Chapter 1. Signals detected from stars are probably hidden planets. In this chapter, we are going to be discussing a recent discovery of vibrations of cosmos objects like exoplanets. These exoplanets were discovered using very unique, extremely interesting method by listening to the radio emission wave vibrations. The scientists had a dilemma if uh, we actually detect some sort of frequency that either form of the star interacting with the planet or comes from the planet itself. And the reason for that they were because there was something similar detected coming from Jupiter a few decades ago. Back then the scientists discovered that Jupiter was emitting unusual radio waves that were extremely difficult to explain and it took a few decades to finally figure out what happening there. A lot of noise was actually caused by closest moon to Jupiter known Io. Io is volcanic so it, it emits more gas from the surface, some of this gas turns into ions becomes charged. So a lot of discharged stuff then starts interacting with Jupiter's magnetic field and because of this interaction some discharged particles start moving along with magnetic lines of Jupiter and produce a lot of noise and radio waves that we could hear on Earth. Chapter 2. Low Vibrations Any experience that we have is through our senses, whether it's sound or light or touch, but it's only vibration. And vibration has two aspects, like digital programming. One is called on and the other one calls off, which is zero. And vibration seems to be propagated in waves, in every wave system that has crates and it has throughouts. And so life itself is a system of waves, which is a cycles. Uh, for example, sound is just not pure sound. It's a rapid and alt alternation of sound and silence so one or zero positive or negative that's simply the way things are we must remember that crest and the throat of the wave are inseparable nobody ever saw crest without throats and throats without crest just like we don't encounter life with people just people fronts and no backs uh, we don't encounter a coin with just heads but no tails Although the heads and tails and fronts and backs and positive and negatives are different, they are all the same thing on all the time, and it's all balanced on purpose. Fundamentally, the human awareness is a very odd mechanism. So we specialize in certain kind of awareness, which is called uh, cautious attention, conscious attention. And the price which we pay for specialization in cautious conscious attention is ignorance of everything else. So we tend therefore to see the world uh, in a disintegrated aspect. We take separate things, events seriously, imagining something that really doesn't exist also seriously. And we are in balance, in a balance matrix. This particular true among people who call themselves existentialists and they talk about a person who exists um, separately and authentically, they mean that um, a person take his life seriously and other people's life seriously as well. So the basis for this so you all must uh, survive and I must survive and life is precious. We go to live uh, the following so go to live it and following certain rules. Then your life is a drug and not game. Now it's my kind of, kind of opinion, my speculation that existence of physical universe is basically playful game. And it's best understood by analogy with music, because music is a form of art, and it's essentially playful. So we say you play piano, but you don't say I. You work the piano. Why music differs from travel? Because when you travel, you are trying to get somewhere. And of course, 
we are all busy getting faster and faster till we eliminate the distance between places, but what happens as a result of that? Then two ends of journey become the same place, like in the music, a harmony. Uh, just one note doesn't make the whole composition, though. And we got the whole system of schooling, which gives a completely different impression. Um, you got your kindergarten, then you got to the school, then you got to another school, and you think the purpose of life is coming. It's coming, actually, and success you're working for the whole life. When you wake up one day in a, about 40 years old, you say, oh my God, I just arrived at my middle ages, and I'm here, and I don't feel different from what I've always been feeling. And uh, that's a slight letdown because you feel there is a hoax and there has been always a hoax. Matrix made you miss everything by expectation. Look at the people who live re uh, to retire and put those savings away and then they are just uh, 65 years old. They don't have energy to do anything and they go and rat in old people's seniors' housing because they simply cheated themselves out of actual life. And the line... We thought the life by analogy was the journey by a pilgrim, which had the serious purpose of the end of the journey, and the thing was to get to the end, success of whatever it is, or maybe even heaven after you dead. What's the purpose of it? And we all missed the point that the whole way along the that was a musical thing. We're all supposed to sing or dance or whatever we like, whichever we prefer, while the music was played. And so then, if you see, on the other hand, that existence is music in nature, and it's a play, we got to play it and let it be. Because if we don't, we're gonna uh, be going to be clutched up, and we're going to be constantly trying to do something that couldn't come naturally without effort. But if we don't try it, then when people have a lot of time, they think clearly. Then they really want to do with the time when they are not being pushed around and nobody's telling them what to do is making rhythms, balances and everything. They listen to music, they dance, they sing, they do something of a uh, rhythmic nature, playing cards, bowling, golf, or raising the elbows. It's all rhythmic and uh, vibrations. Bottom line, everything wants, everybody wants to spend their time swinging. And that's a vibration law and the nature of the whole thing. All we want just a swing, vibrate, vibe. Chapter 4. CIA Declassified There was a CIA task to provide an assessment of the getaway experience in terms of mechanics and ultimate um, practicality. So this top secret document was declassified after 20 years in 2003, revealing some powerful techniques to synchronize both hemispheres of the brain, left and right. And the researcher revealed that assessment could be one of the most powerful techniques ever discovered in regards to vibration of the human vibration energy in the field of synchronization of the heart and brain. The particular technique we will be looking at today is called the hemisync and synchronization of the left and right sides of a human brain. This technique can substantially raise one vibration and be used as a powerful tool for manifestation on any experience, any, any level. Uh, this training system designed to bring enhanced strength, focus and coherence to amplitude and frequency over brain wave output between left and right hemispheres. So as to the ultra con consciousness moving outside the physical sphere, so as to ultimately escape even though restrictions of time and space exist. The participant then gains access to various levels of intuitive knowledge which this universe offers. Hypnosis is basically a technique which permits acquisition of direct access to the sensory motor cortex and pleasure sensors and the lower cerebral portion of right side of a human brain. Hypnotic suggestions are allowed to pass unchallenged into right hemisphere where they are accepted and acted upon directly, honestly. The meditation works in distant, uh, distinctly different fashion than this technique. Intense and proactive single-minded concentration on purpose uh, of drawing energy up uh, in the spinal cord ultimately results, which appears to be creation of acoustical standing waves in cerebral ventricles, which are conducted to a gray matter at, um, in the cerebral cortex 
at the right side of the brain. As a result, this waste will stimulate and eventually polarize the cortex in such way that it will tend to conduct a signal along the homunculus starting from toes to the head. Although normally the period of meditation involving intense concentration and practice usually takes five years or so, some require to bring uh, up a kundalini, which has exposure to mechanical, acoustical, musical vibrations in a range of 4 to 7 hertz. Uh, with music help, it's possible to achieve the same effect access to the consciousness altering state uh, within shorter period of meditation and hypnosis. Thank you to be continued.